Hello! Thank you for returning to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about percentage composition. Sometimes we get chemicals, let us say I give you a powder in a packet and I ask you what is it and um, you are supposed to identify the elements in the powder and you have to find out what compound it is. So there are tests to carry out the identification of the different elements present in a compound. But once you know the elements, you would like to know the percentage composition of each element in that compound. And once you come to know about the percentage composition of the compound, you can then it leads you to find out the empirical formula, which is the minimum ratio of all the elements present in the compound. And then by multiplying that empirical formula by an appropriate number, you get the molecular formula, which gives you exactly the information of the compound. Sometimes you have an impure sample and you find out you know what the sample is, but you want to find out whether it's pure or not. So you find out the percentage composition of the elements and if you find that there's an error, the percentage is not matching the uh, mass of the compound given to you, you come to the conclusion that the compound given to you is impure. Therefore, either way, you use mass percentages or percentage you need to find out the percentage composition of a compound. So how is that done and how do we carry out these calculations? The mass percent of any element in a compound should be the mass of that element in the compound divided by the molar mass of the compound multiplied by 100. That would give you the mass percentage. For example, if you have water molecule and you want to find out the mass percentages of both hydrogen and oxygen in the water molecule, we know the molar mass of water if we calculate mass of hydrogen is 1 AMU 1.008 and oxygen is, um, how much is it? 16? Yeah, mass of oxygen is 16. So the mass, molar mass of water would be 18.02 U. How? Because it is two hydrogens, 1.008 plus 1.008 plus 16. We'll give you the molecular mass, which is 18.02. Now, how would you calculate the mass percentage of hydrogen? For finding out the mass percentage of hydrogen, we should know the mass of that element. We know there are two hydrogens, so it will be 2 into, what is the mass of one hydrogen atom? 1.008. So mass of hydrogen divided by the molar mass of the substance, that is water, is 18.02 into 100 will give you the mass percentage of hydrogen, which is 11.18. Similarly, you can calculate the mass percentage of oxygen. Mass percentage of oxygen would be mass of oxygen upon molar mass into 100. Mass of oxygen in water is 16 upon 18.02 into 100 will give you 88.79%. So these are the mass percentages of both hydrogen and oxygen in the molecule water and therefore its percent composition would be hydrogen and oxygen in the percentages of 11.18 and 88.79 respectively. So now we come to a problem that you have ethanol. Ethanol is C2H5OH and you want to find out the mass percentages of all the elements present in ethanol. Now ethanol has carbon, hydrogen and oxygen and I'm now not going to consider the decimal places just to make the calculations easier. Carbon has a mass of 12, hydrogen has a mass of 1. Instead of taking 1.008, I'm just rounding it off and oxygen is 16. So what would be the molar mass of ethanol? To calculate the molar mass, we should write it has carbons, two carbons. So two carbons each weighing 12 amu plus there are how many hydrogens? Five here and one here. So there are six hydrogens. So there would be six hydrogens having a mass of one each plus there is one oxygen having a mass of 16, right? So what would the molar mass of 2 into 12 would be 24 plus 6 plus 16? Yes, 24 plus 6 plus 16, this would be how much? This would be 46. So the molar mass 46U is the molar mass of ethanol. Now we are supposed to find out the mass percentage of carbon. 
In this, what is the mass of carbon? Mass of carbon is 24. 24 divided by the molar mass, that is 46, into 100 would give you the mass percentage of carbon. What would be the mass percentage of hydrogen now? Hydrogen is 6 AMU. 6 upon 46 into 100 will give you the mass percentage of hydrogen. And what's the mass percentage of oxygen? Oxygen is 16 divided by 46 into 100 would give you the mass percentage of oxygen. I've calculated these beforehand. Carbon is 52.17. Carbon would be 52.17%. Hydrogen would be 13.04. But since it comes to 99.99, um, I'm writing this as 05. Just in a little approximation I took here to get the total of 100 because we avoided, we ignored the decimal places. And oxygen would be 34.78. So these are the mass percentages. And remember, when you add the mass percentages, their total of all the elements present at the compound, the total should always come to 100, right? That's logical. So when you add these three, the total should be 100% of the compound should contain 34.78% of oxygen, 13.05% of hydrogen, and 52.17% of carbon. In which compound? In ethanol. Now our next example is sodium sulfate. Let us calculate the mass percentages of elements in sodium sulfate. Sodium has a mass of 23, so 23 into 2 plus sulfur is 32 and oxygen is 16. 32, 1 into 32 and 1, 4 into 16 because there are 4 oxygen atoms. So this would be 46, 23 into 2 would be 46 plus 32 plus 16, 4 is 64. So what would be the mass of sodium sulfate? It would be 142. 142 U. Let's find out the masses of each element now. Sodium mass percentages of sodium. Sodium would be 46 upon 142 into 100 would give you the mass percentage of sodium. This would be 32.39%. The mass percentage of sulfur now would be, we have 32, so 32 upon 142 into 100 would be equal to, how much? It is 22.5% and finally oxygen. Oxygen is 64 AMU upon 142 into 100 would give you the mass percentage of oxygen, which would be 45.5%. Zero seven percent. So, is it clear that what we did? We take the masses of each element, we find out the molecular mass of the compound, and then we calculate the masses of each compound according to the formula. What is the mass of sorry each element? Mass of each element divided by the molecular mass into 100 will give you its percentage in the entire compound. And once you have the percentage, all you have to do is that find out the percentages of each element, divide all of them by the uh, smallest number so that you get the minimum ratio between the elements. This minimum ratio that you get, if it's fractional, you multiply it appropriately to get a whole number ratio. Once you get the whole number ratio, that formula that you write then becomes the empirical formula. And then the empirical formula, uh, the, you calculate the mass of the empirical formula and the mass of the molecular formula. So the mass of molecular formula, if it's larger than empirical formula, you multiply, divide molecular mass by empirical formula mass, you'll get a number. Multiply the empirical formula by that number and you would get the molecular formula of the compound. So that is how we go about it and that's the reason why we find out the percentage compositions. Also, we find out the percentage compositions to find out whether the given sample is pure or not. Thank you for watching.